Right now at 6, emergency funding. Our city's ambulance provider is already battling a paramedic shortage, and now a $3.5 million shortfall. Three Rivers Ambulance Authority leaders need more money, they say, to keep responding to emergency calls. 21 Investigates reporter Carly Van Cleve tells us their plan. Carly. Yeah, Brian and Krista, Three Rivers Ambulance Authority leaders tell me they only have two months worth of payroll left in their budget. Once that money runs out, they're asking for taxpayer dollars to keep them running. Here's my 21 Investigates report tonight. Getting to the point where we're going to have to um, pay that price. For at least two years now, Three Rivers Ambulance Authority have been struggling with a paramedic shortage. And it's affected how quickly they can get to emergencies. So our budget, unfortunately, doesn't support some of the changes we made. We made them back then with support from some of the community leaders and the administration here. Changes, including paying more to attract new recruits, which TRA Executive Director Joel Ben says is working, but the money is running out. We're operating at a deficit, and we knew we would. Tra's looking at a $3.5 million shortfall. Ben says they only have enough money for two months' worth of payroll. The administration asked us to operate at a deficit and spend down some of our reserves, and so we have. And so at this point, we're reaching the end of that with what we're paying out in salaries. We probably have about two months or so of operating costs left. Ben's plans on asking the city and the county for taxpayer money to get them through the year. He says he already had conversations with the mayor and with county commissioners. But now it's time for him to make a formal request. This organization needs help and in order to maintain until we get to a place where we're more stable. And so in my initial discussions, they've been really supportive. Ben says TRA is meeting its immediate goal to get more paramedics on the streets. But again, it comes at a higher cost. All along, he says the board, the city, and the county all knew a financial shortfall was coming. They understand the value of this of the service, and they don't want to see things in the streets. You know, having low compliance times in the past is, was pretty negative for our organization, for Fort Wayne, and it's a in whole, and, you know, nobody wants to see anybody suffer. Ben's plan to point to Tra's improvements when he makes the funding request. Here's a look at the numbers. An ambulance is required to arrive at an emergency in less than eight and a half minutes. In January, Tra was compliant 84.4% of the time, a much better number than last January when they only met that 64% of the time. Is there going to be any moment where you're kind of at like a panic, you know, like when two months comes and you don't have anything? Is that possible? Uh, I don't think we'll have any problems. I mean, you know, I could be wrong, right? You get into this sort of situation and there's always little hiccups along the way, but like no one's panicked about, no one in the city should be panicked about this. This is, this is the cost of doing business. Well, he says there is no timeline yet when he's going to make that formal request. I also reached out to the city and the county to get their yeah. thoughts on this, and you'll hear those responses tonight in the news at 7. So in the meantime, Benz is preparing his big presentation as he gets ready to ask the, the question. And overall, do you think he's confident that he's going to get that money? When I asked him that question, he yeah. says that he's gotten a lot of support. So he seemed pretty confident about it, especially if he says it's, there's no room to panic right now. Mm. So. All right. Okay. We'll be following this. Carly, thanks.